Assalamualaikum. Welcome back, back to Awak Tiu TSC. Okay, who are you? I'm Iman Pate. And I am Wawa. And today we're going to bake pandan gula Melaka. K. Yes. Okay, let's start by weighing the... The... Uh, what is this? Butter. Butter. Okay. So we will be using 100 grams of salted pure butter. And as you can see, I've already chopped my cold butter. This is a very cool uh, out uh, of the fridge butter. Fridge. So if you're wondering why, you can go back to my previous videos to, to, to know why I am actually using cold butter. Okay, after butter, we will be putting in what is this? Sugar. Yeah, 175 grams of sugar. Okay, can you help me? Okay, we need 175 grams. Oops, okay, that's 180 grams, but it's okay as long as we're having fun. I don't usually have fun with my kids around when i'm baking but because i'm in the video so yeah you know oh. i have to act accordingly so now we're going to put in uh, what is this is a vanilla bean paste vanilla bean paste yeah so we need one teaspoon okay tell the camera we need one teaspoon of vanilla one one teaspoon of vanilla. Yes. Okay. It's actually my best friend's um idea or suggested me to make a video with my youngest daughter, but she is asleep. So this is my first child, a son, my son, a son. <laughs> okay. So one teaspoon. Okay. Aga aga, as we are a Malaysian. That is actually like a half tablespoon, but again, it's okay. It's okay until <laughs> the result of the bake is either it's going to be a cake or it's not. Then we will tell whether it's okay or not. But for now, it's okay. Everyone's happy. We're going to cream the butter. Butter. And? Okay. Okay, come. Pull this tightly. And we're going to... The butter and sugar. This fun. Thank you for helping me. Hmm. Is it good? Mm. Yes. Okay. So um, when I was a kid, you don't know. Um, have you cream enough of the butter and sugar? So um, my mom's tip would be this: you look at the original butter color. If it's really, uh, it's, if it turns really different, this one is much, much paler and this one is still yellow, then you know you have cream it enough. Because we're using hand mixer, you cannot really over mix it or else it will melt and it won't aerate as much air as when you use that whisk, uh, not whisk attachment. What does that other attachment called? The one... But that one aerates much more air. And if you are using that one, you can use a much slow... Don't, don't sit on the table. You can use much... Asian mom. Okay, you can use <laughs> much more slower speed uh, to aerate air. And you can actually um, beat... You can actually cream the uh, sugar and butter for longer because it won't melt but this one because of the hot weather and i'm using hand mixer this should be sufficient okay you have you can stop at this point okay not really fluffy but it's okay okay now we're going to add in eggs do you want to help me fatih yes i'm so nervous right now can you tell but i have to act as if everything is okay come on Western mom mode. I'm not going to be mad at you. Don't worry. This is... <laughs> or else I will be caught on tape. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Yes. Let's break the egg. Me. Yes. Okay. 
I'm going to just laugh. No, I won't be mad at him, especially not on camera. So the second egg, can you help me? Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, good job. Okay, go okay, wash your hands. Wash your Do you want to wash your hands? Go ahead. Wash your hands. Okay, I will proceed. Let's finish it. That, huh? Let's finish this before he comes yeah. back. Yeah, let's finish this before he come back. And then I, I, I'm not usually like this. So don't, you know, you don't need to come in like. So like I said, when you have add in eggs, you don't have to whisk vigorously. Lightly whisk is enough. Now we're going to put in uh, where is it? Our self raising flour. If you don't have self raising flour, you can add in one teaspoon. This this is actually a half recipe. So, we need 175 grams of self-raising flour. Can you help me? Okay. Carefully, carefully. Thank slow, you, Fatih. Slow, I don't usually sift my flour. Wait. Okay. Okay. I don't usually sift my flour. Huh? You want to help me? Okay. <laughs> Mama. Yes, we need 175 grams. That's 100. Hey, wait. Why is it? Oh. Why is it not moving? Wait, cut it up. Okay, 175 grams. I don't usually sift my flour simply because it is very fine. Nowadays, flour, uh, flour is fine, not like the older days, like my mom said. But you need to sift your cocoa powder. Okay, we'll come to that when we're making devil's food chocolate cake. So, we're going to give it a light whisk. As I said previously, in my previous videos, when you start to add in eggs or flour, you need to be really gentle and careful. Just a half folded flour would do because what we're going to do is we're going to add okay. this coconut milk and my homemade pandan extract Later. you can google how you how to make this pandan homemade pandan extract so this is for half a recipe let's see it's 20 grams and then we're going to add another 80 grams of coconut milk. Yes. Wait, I need to shake this because... Huh? Don't see your face. I just oh, okay, it's okay. Okay, we need 180. Oh, okay. Okay, as you can see, this is not a newly bought pandan... Uh, a newly bought coconut cream extract, so... It's a bit lumpy there. So what we're going to do is we're going to carefully add, we're going to slowly add in to the batter. Okay, slowly add in and magically it will turn green. Okay, making pandan cake is for me, very simple. Okay, you want to stop right there. Yes, just a gentle light mix. Wait, I need my... Oops. I need my... <laughs> I need my spatula. Okay, moving on. We need spatula. Wait, I'll go and take my spatula. Okay, so as you can see, there's still flour here and even butter. Okay, 
it's okay you can combine it yourself don't over mix it once you have add in eggs and flour all you can do is gently fold it in and make sure that is combined it's okay to have bits of flour Okay, somebody is getting comfortable. Okay, as you can see, the batter is well aerated. There's air trapped inside. That's a good mm -hmm. sign. We're going to have a fluffy cake, hopefully. Okay, now we're going to bake in a loaf pan because I'm only making half recipe. So... I'm going to use my beautiful, beautiful wildflower loaf pan, Nordic Ware. This is from the States. A shout out to Mariam. Thank you so much. This is heavy, okay? Only a best friend can buy you this. Or a personal shopper, but you need to pay more. Lah. I want to. Oh, you want to spray it for me? Okay. okay. Spray it inside. Okay. Maybe you want to... Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Spray it. Mm, okay, that's a good big spray there. Now you need to use... Okay. Distribute the grease. You really need to distribute... You need to grease the pan and spread it thoroughly, evenly. Flour. Yes, flour. Yep. Spray a bit more. It is not advisable to use spray though for your Nordic wear bun pan. But you know, I'm not that I'm lazy. Okay, I'm lazy. I'm an Asian mom and I'm lazy. Okay, there I said it. So we're just going to spray like any other pan. Hopefully we will be that rich to buy another one if it's Dysfunction, or you get, you get molded or cracked or whatever. Okay, evenly greased. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Flower. Going to get wild. You know, pandan, a very homemade and natural flavor to go with a wildflower bun pan. What could be more beautiful? And natural. And natural. Okay, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, better. Oh, you want to help me? Okay. Okay, thank you, Fate. You're welcome. I do usually say thank you to you when you're around when I'm baking, right? <laughs> but again, this is on the video. So, yeah. Okay. Clean bowl. Just... A bit of shake, evenly distributed. Don't, please don't tap your pen. This is a beautiful pen. Don't tap it. Okay, even if the pen is not that beautiful, don't tap it. You, uh, you don't want to release the air. You yeah. want it trapped inside. Okay, so inside the oven we go. Okay, so I'm going to zoom on your own, both of your face. You made it, Fatih. Mm -hmm. Not too early. I know this is too early to say. But I hope it will turn out well. Yeah. Let's go to the oven. Let's bake this. Okay. Oh, don't forget to preheat your oven. I preheated mine. And if you want to know more about oven and preheat, go to my previous videos. I won't talk about it again and again. Because, you know, it will consume my data, internet data when I upload this video. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Bye-bye, Mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheers.
Okay, moment of truth, guys. <gasps> oh. Ah! Oh my God. Ah! Okay, it's okay. Um, this is very okay. No, this is not normal. Okay, I'm so stressful. No, wait. I I need my ice cream now. No, cut, cut, cut. So I'm I'm okay now. I. I have accepted my feet, my kids feet. Okay. Okay, just for your information, it never turned out like this. I reckon it's because I didn't spray enough. Because I was baking with my kids. It was fine, you know, it's okay. It still is okay and it's delicious. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, it's still Mm, it's delicious. It's nice. Taste wise, it's good. It's pandan gula melaka, guys. It's very creamy. It's very good. So it's okay. At least you have fond memories of you baking yeah. with your kids. Like we always say, what's with the look? So, yeah. I'm learning it right now. Mm. Okay, subscribe to okay. okay. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share our tube TSE. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now. Don't look at my cake.